barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I want to talk about something. I was talking to a fighter today, this afternoon, and uh, he called me, and uh, he's an up-and-coming fighter, and uh, he hasn't made it to the big leagues yet, but he's projected to be really, really good. And so I, I, I literally just felt inspired to contact him, literally out the blue. Never called him in my life, right? And uh, I told him, I says, talking about money. And I'm going to just tell you, tell you, I said, you got to be the dumbest motherfucker in the world. If you give some, if you give away 50% of your purse, knowing what it takes to step up, step up into that ring. I just think it's just essential, important, should be mandated that these fighters understand contracts. These fighters understand how much money they actually make, how much money is uh, negotiate a price as opposed to a percentage of your purse when you're making money. You understand what I'm saying? Um, everything is negotiable in this sport. You know, there is no mandate. Even if they say, oh, 10% this, 20% that, 30%. I, I just think you got to be the dumbest fighter. In, I, I, in my humble opinion, I give you 50% and the government tax me on 100%. I'm going to say this again so you guys can comprehend these fucking words. I'm going to give you 50%. I'm going to give away 50% of my purse. And the government tax me 100% of my purse. So I'm walking away with anywhere between, well, you're making a lot of money. I'm talking about these million dollar fighters. You're only making 30% of what you, you literally only making 30 to 40% of your income. That means 60%. 60% fell out of your pocket on your way walking to the car. 60% of your income from your from your front door on your way to the bank. 60% of the income fell out of your pocket. Can you believe that shit? Man, you got... Listen, this ain't a rant video. This ain't nothing. But I, I just want every fighter to understand what I mean by this. And, and you have to set the precedent. Own your... Own your masters, like like uh, Jay Z say. Own your masters. Own everything that you do, man. I don't make sure everything is itemized, okay? Even if you're with a promoter, make sure everything is itemized. It's not just some bulk rate of fifty thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars for uh, uh, promotional fees. You need everything itemized. So you see it the first time, and they say they rented a ballroom for five thousand dollars to have the weigh in. Well, you can say, well, I know a guy, I know a restaurant that's willing to foot the bill for the food and the weigh-in if we can uh, use his location. So you save $5,000 there. You understand? And that's just a, a small example. It may be a bit exaggerated, but you get you get my point. You understand? Like, like they say, Don King charged Mike Tyson $500 for a towel. All right? Everything must be itemized, Okay. Don't just get a set fee and this is your check. This is, man, listen. Ever, man. And the reason why I, I'm big on itemization now because it's tax season. Next month is the worst month of my life financially. I got to, man, if I told you what I got to give the government next month, it, man, property tax and quarterly taxes are due in the same fucking month. And it's it's just insane. You understand? And And, and I wish I knew everyone says this, right? From money, to, from money to women to spirituality growth to everything. You wish you knew then what you know now, right? And uh, uh, please, 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 fighters, even young fighters, when you get a $3,000 check ash, and your team takes a certain percentage out, you're a trainer from your small gym, not small gym, but, you know, you're an up-and-coming fighter making $5,000 a fight for an eight-rounder. You understand? And they, I, you need everything itemized, okay? And and don't accept. Listen, you are the LLC. If you don't get paid, they don't get paid. Everything is negotiable. So if they say, well, fighters typically get thirty three percent for it. No, listen, everything is negotiable. All right, all right. Even if it says it on paper, you can subcontract too. You understand what I'm saying, and uh, and start 1099ing people. Don't just give them cash. 1099 
They're your employees. Man, God, I need to do a separate video on 1099 people because uh, uh, it just came to my head. 1099 so you can write their payoff of your income as a Pope man. Um, man. Anyways, man, I'm going to stop this video here because I don't want it to go too long and I lose you guys in translation. But fighters, 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 you are a fool. You are the dumbest fool in the world if you're giving away 50% of your check and being taxed on 100% of it. That's all I'm going to say. So anyways, man, barbershop conversation, Saturday night. I might be able to drop a whole bunch more videos because I'm not going out tonight. Me and I'm just chill tonight. Uh, anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Peace.